Do you also have that important piece of paper in your wallet? Or do you know the trick for removing scribbles from a piece of paper with an iron? Or this ingenious trick with the chip wrapper? In this video, I'll show you seven tricks that almost nobody knows, but really everyone should know. Let's start with the potato chips packaging. If you have potato chips in such a packet, you open it at the top and take the potato chips out with your hand. But there comes a point when you simply can't get your hand in anymore. The more potato chips there are, the deeper you have to reach into the tin and that's not always easy, especially if you don't have a very small hand. There is an ingenious trick for this too and all you need is a normal sheet of paper. It's best to cut off a third of it, then it's a little easier. Now slide this completely into the potato chips packaging as you can see here. Now lay the chip packaging down and then carefully pull out the sheet. This way you have all the chips served directly on the sheet. And if you don't pull it out completely but leave a small piece of the sheet inside, you can easily push it back in later if you still have a few chips left. If you have made a few scribbles on a piece of paper that you would like to erase, but you have used a ballpoint pen, then you can simply use an iron. All you have to do is wipe over it and the whole thing is removed if the iron is hot enough. This doesn't work with every pen, so you'll have to test a little. However, it can really help you if someone has scribbled in a book, for example, because you can remove all the scribbles again. So before you throw the book away, give this trick a try. You might be able to remove it and the book will look like new again. Depending on what kind of pen it is, it can also work with highlighters or other markers. Just give it a try. And I bet you've never folded your bed so easily before because there's another really ingenious trick that everyone should know. Grab your comforter cover and turn it inside out. Now lay it out on your bed so that it lies completely flat lengthways. In the next step, you will need your blanket. You should now lay this out on your bed too. It should now lie on top of the entire comforter cover, as you can see here. Now we start on the side where the whole thing is closed. This means on the side where we don't have the opening where we actually put the blanket in. Here we should now roll up both together tightly. So start rolling it up and roll it up until you have reached the other end. Now you have such a roll and there is only one small step left until you have got the entire blanket into the cover. To do this you should go to both corners and wrap the cover you have here once around the entire roll. In other words, turn it around once until the cover is around the entire roll on this side and repeat the process on the other side. Then all you have to do is hold it by both corners, shake it vigorously once or twice and the entire blanket is inside your comforter cover. And if you have a few clothespins at home, try this with them. Grab some double-sided adhesive tape and cut it to the right thickness so that it fits on the clothespin, as you can see in my picture. Now remove the foil here and hang the whole thing up in a cupboard. You can also just hang it outside somewhere on the wall, depending on where you want it. The clothespins are perfect for hanging things up, e.g. small bin bags or towels. You can hook them perfectly under the clothespin and have them in your cupboard, instead of just hanging somewhere in the kitchen, where they might not look so nice. If you haven't drilled holes in your garbage can yet, then you should definitely do it. You've probably experienced the situation where you want to take the bin liner out of the garbage can, but it doesn't come out easily because there's a vacuum at the bottom. You can easily fix this by drilling two holes in the middle or at the bottom of the garbage can. These can be directly underneath each other, as you can see here. Because if you now put your bag in here and it is already a little full and you want to pull it out, you can easily get it out because air can still flow into the lower part of the garbage can. This means that the bag is no longer held in place. And you'll never be annoyed again when you want to pull the bin liner out of the garbage can. Another thing you'll never be annoyed about again is when you have to blow up balloons. Especially if there are several of them, it's super tiring to tie them. Because you know how it is, you take two fingers, wrap the whole thing around here and then push it through the two fingers through the small gap. This squeezes the fingers quite a bit and in the end they don't look so nice if you've done this with a few balloons. They also hurt quite a bit at some point. But there are two ingenious tricks to make this much easier. For the first one, we need a coat hook like this. You can simply wrap the end of the balloon around the side and pull it through this small opening. And you can easily knot it without hurting your fingers. But if you don't have a coat hook, there's another ingenious trick. And all you need is a small spoon. You can also wrap the cord around it. And here we have this small opening created by the curvature of the spoon. And here you can simply pull this tip through, remove the spoon, and you have finished knotting the balloon. This works without your fingers hurting afterwards even if you have knotted several balloons together. But do you also know the secret of why everyone has to have a piece of paper like this in their wallet with four digit numerical codes on it? Take a piece of paper like this and write four four-digit numerical codes on it. The numbers should have no meaning. Just take any numbers and then put this piece of paper in your wallet. Preferably somewhere near your bank card. Because this has the following advantage. 
If someone steals your wallet and tries to withdraw money from an ATM with your bank card, they will find this slip of paper and think that one of the numbers is probably your PIN code. But as soon as they enter it incorrectly three times, the card will be confiscated. This increases the chances of you getting your bank card back, as the thief will probably try to test one of these numbers in the hope that he can withdraw money from your account. Which of course won't work, as these numbers should have nothing to do with your real PIN. If you want to learn more incredible tricks, then you should definitely watch this video that you see on the screen. Click directly on it.